Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me for this week's Angel Messages. So before we get started, make sure to download my 4 minute 44 second guiding angel meditation. I've also made it into a longer meditation so that if you want to spend a little bit more time with your angels, you have the opportunity. So you can do it quickly or you can just relax into it. All right, you'll see the link in the description. Now, what I would love for you to do is place one or both hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is, once you've watched the video, go back to the beginning. Move your cursor along as you invite your angels to guide you to another message, another message that might be in the middle of those messages or might be a word or a sentence or just something that you see as you stop your cursor, as you stop the video and watch right there. See what happens for you. Let me know. All right. Okay. We're using the native spirit cards. I have these cards and I haven't used them. So I wanted to use them today. So let's see what comes up. Native spirit. So this is very much connected with the land, with the earth, with the air, with the elements, right? So what are your angels guiding you to? Let's see. Oh, it feels like number one is right there. Just as I said that, so this little flash. Walking in beauty. What's interesting to me is that I was just, I saw this little advertisement for a movie and it's about connecting with the energy of the sun. And my mother always used to say that the sun was a physical body of a great spirit. And when I see this image, there is almost that sense of the rising sun connecting to that energy, welcoming it in, welcoming in spirit, welcoming in the divine, welcoming in the light, welcoming in this part of your life that you often maybe don't think about. Don't think about saying, thank you, son, for being there. So there is this feeling as you walk in beauty, walking in beauty, there's just this feeling of connecting to the earth, the blessings that are there for you and recognizing that there are so many blessings. And again, this can be something that we don't always appreciate or think about every day. And I have this feeling that it's time now for you, for all of us, this can be a message for all of us, to really count our blessings, to have gratitude for everything, including the challenges in our lives, because they help us to grow as well. When you look at this card, what comes to you? This dawning of a new day, of a new age, that sense of beauty that is all around you. And maybe that beauty is you as well. Maybe that walking in beauty is you walking on the earth and realizing how beautiful you are, what an incredible being you are, and being grateful for not just your life, but this incredible temple, your body, the temple of your spirit, being grateful for the presence of this temple so that you can incarnate and express yourself in this lifetime through that temple. I feel like there's one more thing, you know, when you look here, you see there is an archway right there and there is a sense of, okay, there's a new door waiting for you you to walk through that new door and it's red earth isn't it that red red is a color of movement taking a step forward we always think of red because of the traffic lights as being a stop no it's go <laughs> let's go 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 let's go right now so that movement walking in beauty movement through that new door but it's moving towards the light 
as well. And that light is clear, it's clarity, it's having clarity in your life. It's walking toward power as well, and it's walking toward growth. Oh, I love that. That. At the same time, my stomach is gurgling. You know, whenever my stomach gurgles, it's uh, often because I'm speaking something that is the truth. It, the energy sort of increases, which is interesting. Okay, number two. Let's see what you have. Oh, no, it's over here. There it is. <laughs> All right. Medicine woman and medicine man. So with medicine woman and medicine man, there is this sense of healing, uh, an expression of healing. So there can be this feeling for you that it's time for you to heal, maybe the masculine aspect of yourself or the feminine aspect of yourself, or maybe it's that you need to seek guidance and support from somebody that's male or female. Or maybe because we have these two together that it's about balance. It's about bringing balance into your life right now. When I look at this card, we have the sun again, which is just an interesting thing. When I was younger, I had this very strong past life image of standing as a native uh, and honoring the sun as it rose. And there was this sense of just opening up and, and saying thank you for being there and welcoming that energy in. And when I look at this, there is this feeling of something is being released, just like the sun going down, and something is coming in, just like the sun coming up. And that can be that male and female vibration as well. So maybe something physical is being released or something physical is coming in maybe something emotional is being released something emotional coming in whatever it is there's a balance so there's a sense of as you let go so you make space for something new to come in and that's with that sun going down and the sun coming up but there's always something new that's there isn't there as we let go of the light and the darkness comes in then we can also welcome in the light as we let go of the darkness. Medicine man and medicine woman can also be for you about you being the healer. That you are this body of healing and wisdom that others are ready to embrace. How would that feel for you? Does that feel right for you? Do you feel like the healer? Do you feel like somebody who would be able to support others right now? Just get a sense of that. One more thing is coming to me with this. You know, when I think of medicine, I think of that medicine wheel. And again, that sense of movement and change that comes with the medicine wheel as we as we start something and then we, we move through a natural season and then it comes to this place of ending. So there is this sense for you that something is ending in your life and it's not to weep about it or, or to be too upset about it because it's a natural progression of the circle of life that you are going to move into a new beginning and then there will be endings, there's always endings but there's always going to be new beginnings for you as well. I keep feeling Archangel Shamuel coming in and Shamuel is that energy of love and beauty, that sense of opening your heart up, not just to the one, there is this feeling of to the masses. So my impression with this is that you are connecting in relationships, you're connecting with your family, you're connecting with loved ones, with friends, maybe not just on the physical plane, but in the spiritual plane as well. Your loved ones in spirit, your guides, your angels, etc. 
There is also this sense of soulmates that comes in with this too. And again, we think of that medicine man, medicine woman, that it's two parts of the whole. So there is that feeling of shifting and changing energy within your soulmate vibration. And it may be that you're letting a friend go or letting a soulmate go, but there's another soulmate coming into your life. And it might be that you haven't received that soulmate yet in, your, in the whole of your life. So you're letting something go. You're letting go maybe of the grief of that so that you can create the space for that soulmate to come into your life however that may be for you all right oh i love that okay final card let's see what comes up what our angels want us to know and isn't that interesting that card's kind of sticking up there let's choose that one <laughs> offerings offerings isn't that interesting that that's the card that came up out of the out of the deck that it wanted to pop up for us I want you to take notice of this. Let me see. It's not, no, they're not all the same. The sun is there again. So this is interesting, isn't it? Let's have gratitude for the sun this week, all of us, because it seems to want to be acknowledged. So offerings, this looks like Stonehenge. And within Stonehenge, there may be an offering to the sun an offering to the devas, to the nature spirits, to the angels, etc. So this with offerings, it can be that you are being offered something this week, an opportunity, something wonderful that gets you out of a routine, something that will support your soul, will support your light, or that will take you toward more light so it may be that it's linked in with your spirituality with your faith with something that your heart desires at this moment and that stone circle again we're in this circle vibration aren't we there is a sense of this of coming together with others you may find that part of that offering is a link with community a link with like-minded souls, people who are on the same journey as you and you're coming together in celebration and maybe offering something to them or they're offering something to you. I'm also feeling with this, with the offerings, you know, when I think of offerings, I think of flowers <laughs> and plants. So there is a sense of blossoming that comes with this too. I feel with this that it's about planting seeds right now because this is a great time. Of course, new moon, the new moon energy is a great time to plant seeds. So focus on that new moon, focus on planting seeds and focus on the seeds being a reflection of the blossoming that is happening within you, within you and also in your life. I feel that that offering of the seeds is for the land, but also again, it's about a connection to you as you watch them grow. As some things, some of those seeds may grow and other seeds may not, they may choose not to. And it's just a reflection of your life that certain things work and some things don't. I feel that's it. <laughs> I feel that's it. Oh no, there's one more thing with this. One more thing. When I look at this, you see how the stones, we don't know how those stones got there necessarily. And yet they were built. They were put there and it was some great fate of ingenuity that, that an engineering that brought them to that spot. And then ever since then, we've been looking at that and thinking, wow, isn't this a magical space? And I feel that that's something for you as well, that there's something magical coming in for your life. And you don't know how it's going to work out. And you may think, it's not possible, but there's a sense of that offering is magic, magical energy from the universe that's coming into your life. So now it's just time to open up to it. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. Just felt like that was the final part. You know, it's like just sealing it up or the cherry on top of the cake. I hope you enjoyed this week's angel messages. Let me know how the messages resonated for you. And if you see something else 
in those cards, what your angels are sharing with you right now. I love using lots of different cards to support you. And of course your angels are all around you all the time. You can use anything that will help you to connect with your angels. Everything has that angelic energy within it. I look forward to seeing you next week. Remember to pick up your guiding angel meditation and I send you lots of angel blessings. Bye for now.